Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us. Welcome to the Avexia webinar series. Our topic for today is make more, work less, scaling solutions, maximizing profits, and delivering exceptional results. My name is Christopher Chu. I'm the Director of Marketing for Avexia Diagnostics and will be your host. Today, I have the distinct pleasure of being joined by an exciting guest, Dr. Tori Thompson, who will be our presenter for this webinar. Dr. Thompson is a health coach and chiropractor, renowned for identifying and addressing the root causes of her client's symptoms. She specializes in health optimization by uncovering hidden toxins and infections such as mold, Lyme disease, environmental toxins, and heavy metals. Her passion for health and optimization stems from her decade-long health struggles as a teenager and young adult. Now she is on a mission to educate and empower others to take control of their health and live the lives they have always dreamed of. Additionally, Dr. Thompson has launched practitioner training programs to help other health coaches and practitioners scale their practices while delivering exceptional results to their clients. Without further delay, I will now turn the webinar over to Dr. Thompson. Hello, everyone. I am Dr. Tori Thompson, and I am honored to be here. And tonight, we are going to dive into how you can make more and work less. I'm going to go over scaling solutions to help you maximize profit and still deliver really exceptional results. So I'm excited to dive in. So I am Dr. Tori Thompson. I'm a chiropractor and doctor of natural medicine. Um, I have a seven-figure practice that I built in three years. Um, and now I'm to the point where I work three to four days a week. I'm often traveling while I'm working. Um, I've had a mostly referral-based practice. Um, I have a handful of one-on-one -on -one clients, but mostly I have scaled on DIY and hybrid DIY programs. Um, this to me is really where I've been able to deliver exceptional results, but at scale where I'm not just killing myself trying to you know, work 24 hours a day. So you may be able to relate to this, this one-on-one -on -one burnout. You're probably working 40 hours a week. You're doing one-on-one -on -one visits all day. And then when you're done with visits, you're writing protocols, answering questions, interpreting labs, answering emails, and it is the never ending job. And you may be here where you feel it's not sustainable, or you might be, you know, bright eyed and bushy tailed and haven't figured that out yet, but it is not sustainable. You cannot take care of yourself, your mental health, your well-being, working these crazy hours for your clients. So I see a lot of coaches and practitioners. I teach a lot of them. And so the common things that I see is people are addressing surface level symptoms. They're trying to fix adrenals or kill candida or fix hormones, but they haven't really gotten to the root cause of why. They're using outdated protocols. The science of supplements and the research of it is changing. And so a lot of people are using protocols that were developed in the 80s and 90s and haven't really up, gotten up to date with the new stuff. They don't have a niche. So they're just taking anybody that comes along and um, not really you know, diving into that uber specific client that they like working with. A lot of people are trying to sell short protocols. So they're like, do my eight week detox or my six month reset. And a lot of times it's just not enough time for these people that are dealing with multiple health symptoms. And then, you know, similar to no niche is that they're taking on any client. When you're taking on clients that either you're not um, super familiar with what they're experiencing, or it's just not the type of person you enjoy working with, usually great results don't follow that. And then I see a lot of practitioners doing the wrong order of supplements. This really ties into the outdated protocols. And so a great example of this would be trying to heal a leaky gut first before detoxing it, killing parasites, bacteria, mold, all of that. And so really getting um, up to date on protocols, getting, you know, figuring out exactly what they're dealing with and then getting uber specific to who you want to work with is extremely helpful. So how I scaled my practice, I started in one-on-one -on -one coaching. Um, I was, you know, seeing people all day long. Um, and now I've really moved into taking on very few one-on-one -on -one clients. They're very high ticket. I have a one-year wait list. Um, I take on 12 clients a year. And so to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, um, you know, they can wait or I recommend, you know, you get started with one of my other DIYs and hybrids. And so I have two options in terms of, um, 
um, DIY or self-led courses. I have a hybrid, which has a few coaching visits with a health coach and then some lab retests and then just a pure DIY course. Um, and this is going to have monthly Q and A sessions, uh, to hop on and ask questions. And then for people that don't want to do those, I have mini courses. And so these six week intro courses are things that are like a six week, you know, gut reset, a six week, you know, looking for toxins in your home, six weeks of, you know, optimizing your diet. They're not really there to fix anything, but they're there to scratch the surface, open people's awareness. And so with this lineup, we really hit every price range. And so you want to have an offer that anyone can afford and they're going to get good results regardless. So of course I would rather people do, you know, one of my longer courses, but if they can start with a mini course, it's going to start to move the needle in the right direction. And then often they're going to go into a DIY course after that. So this is my intake. I first do an initial visit, whether it's with me or with a coach, um, and they're going to have assessments that we're going to send ahead of time. So we're going to know exactly what their you know, symptoms are, but then also we do toxicity assessments as well as mold assessments. So I want to know, is there a possibility they've been exposed to mold or environmental toxins, heavy metals? And that allows us to really recommend labs, um, you know, recommend labs from there based off of what their symptoms are and what their assessments show. Then we'll order labs. And I am a huge proponent of lab testing because it makes it a very easy conversion. If someone can see something in their body that they don't like, it doesn't look good, it really makes it easy for them to need your help. So then we'll do a lab review and then the program options are discussed. So I have six month courses and 12 month courses, both of the DIY and the hybrid. And um, you know, my DIY course is less than $200 a month. So it's very affordable and you wanna have a you know scaled where any budget can, you know, find something that's going to help them. And then the biggest thing that I see people doing is that once their clients get better, great, they lose them. You know, it's great to have good results. But what I do is I have a membership and this is a yearly, you know, maintenance membership. And that's going to have some maintenance labs just to make sure that they're always, you know, staying optimized, whether it's blood or toxins or hormones. Um, but you can create a membership and they still get access to your Q&A calls. But the biggest thing is that they're still staying on top of their labs, um, making sure that they are looking good year after year and you're not losing them as a client um, and, you know, the income that they bring. So 90% of your clients can follow the same protocols. What you want to do is write out what you're doing with all your clients and you'll find these trends. Then you can take those trends and create courses. And the trends are for most people the same, even if it's hormones versus adrenals versus, uh, you know, brain fog, you're often doing the same things. You're diving in, healing their gut, getting their diet better. So you want to figure out these common trends and then create courses based off of that. And that will cover a lot of people. 80 to 90% of your clients could follow these protocols. So one of the most common things I see across the board with practitioners is not identifying the root cause of the symptoms. And so they're going at the symptoms, which are the, the leaves of this tree. And so when you go at the leaves of the tree, you're kind of just like, you know, scratching the surface. What is really the way you get good results is finding the root cause. And root cause has kind of been an overused term, but it is spot on for what you have to do. So the things that I really look at as root causes are gut infections, mold microbes, toxins, heavy metals, and environmental toxins. You can get rid of those. A lot of these symptoms that are leaves really do self-resolve or they're very easy to fix. So a perfect example is someone that's dealing with mold is often going to have gut issues, poor sleep, low energy, brain fog, weight gain, low hormones. You could give them a supplement for every one of those, but all you're doing is putting, you know, a bandaid on it, but you're not getting to the root of it. So you really want to lay out all of the possible root causes I test for all of them. And then you get a really clear path forward of what do I need to do to get these out? And um, you'll find you can make these, you know, protocols based off how, you know, that's where I have a six month and a 12 month course. If I see a few things, then they're a six month candidate. If there's a lot, we're at a 12 month candidate. But most people have a variation of mold, gut infections, environmental toxins, and heavy metals. 
So these are, again, our root causes. So mold, um, you've got water damage mold and then foodborne mold. So things on like coffee, grains, um, peanuts. Then you have infections. And these are parasites, bacteria, Lyme, even viruses, heavy metals, and environmental toxins. These are the core things I like to look for because it allows those symptoms uh, to be easy, easily resolved once you get to the root of these guys. Things that are not root causes, not root causes, leaky gut, not a root cause. It's caused by something deeper. Hormonal imbalance, again, there's something there. Is it an environmental toxin that's a hormone disruptor? Is it mold bringing all the hormones down? Is it just, you know, poor detox out of the liver? What is it? Adrenal fatigue, not, not a root cause. Food allergies, SIBO and CFO, so bacterial and fungal overgrowth, thyroid imbalances. You have to find the why. And these the why goes back to that slide before. It's going to be those mold mycotoxins, gut infections, environmental toxins, and heavy metals. And if you can identify those, these guys are really easy to rebalance. So often it, something I hear is there's, you know, I take anyone because my ideal client is a very sub small subset of the population. But people forget how many people are out there. And so you want to create a course for your specific niche. And by doing that, you're addressing the root causes. That's going to get these lasting results. So even if your niche is hormone disruption, you're still going to want to go in and figure out why their hormones are off in the first place. You can still specialize in candida. You can still specialize in thyroid imbalances. But it's figuring out the why that allows you to really dive in there and you're not just band-aiding the symptom, you're going in and cleaning out what caused it and then allowing the body to heal. That is where you're gonna get lasting results that the client feels better. Um, it's not like a candida case where then the second they go off their diet, they don't feel well again, it flares back up. If you can get to the why, it allows those really good lasting results. So, I always say this to all of my coaches and practitioners is testing makes a great conversion rate. If I told someone, you know what, I think you need to do a mold detox. A lot of times they're going to look at me like I'm crazy. They're going to say, I've never been exposed to mold. There's no possibility. It It's a hard sell. But if I can do the testing and show them, hey, look, you have two types of molds, a parasite and environmental toxins and a heavy metal, it makes it very easy for them to go, okay, I don't like this. This is a solution to my problem. And it really gives urgency to the client to do something as well. It gives you a very clear path forward of what needs to be done. I love my assessments because it makes it easier to sell the lab. Hey, out of a hundred, you scored a 77 on my mold test. I really think that we should look into mold as a possible root cause and at least rule it out. And so assessments help sell the labs. Labs help sell the programs and the programs are going to get your really good results. So a lot of people are get stuck on how to build a course and it's really doesn't have to be that hard. So what you'll do is you just want to break down your protocols, um, you find your niche and, you know, run with that. And then of course, all the language is going to be there, but then it's really the same thing. Find the root causes and start to work from there. So you'll break it into your monthly, um, you know, content and let it drip. And then as you get questions or the questions that you see your clients asking, you're going to want to build a frequently asked question page or a troubleshooting page based off the things that you see all the time. Does someone always ask, can I eat fruit on a candida diet or can I have mushrooms if I'm dealing with mold or whatever the questions may be? Create a frequently asked question and troubleshooting sections based off that and it'll grow you know, these courses change over time. And as you get feedback from your clients, you can tweak it and change it and make it better and better and better. And then you want to have add-ons and tiers. So if someone starts off in a DIY course, in all my courses, I have the option to, you know, add on labs. And of course they get it at a, you know, member discount, but add on a mycotoxin test or add on whatever they're wanting to retest or test for the first time. Um, and then add on coaching calls. And this will be for the people that struggle. Um, you know, there are some people that struggle either with just consistency. They struggle with, um, you know, having questions and, and it might be too much for emails. So you want to have coaching call add-ons and lab add-ons that people can, can buy. And whether your coaching calls are done with you or you, you know, push it off to another health coach, um, it doesn't matter. You just, 
you know, want to have these add-ons for people to make sure they are getting supported along the way. And then what we do also is set off, um, we have every three months, we send out a survey. So we're constantly giving feedback or getting feedback from our clients on what they liked in the course. Was there anything confusing? Do you want to see anything changed or added? And then we take that feedback, especially if we see that the same things popping up. And that allows us to tweak it, add content, change content, make it a little more clear. And I would say the course that I have right now is like version 25 of what it started as. It just grows and evolves and changes. So what a lot of people struggle with is getting new leads. And this can be a very tricky piece and a very expensive piece if uh, you run the ads and stuff. But I will say one of my best leads has been setting up a referral program. So all of my clients know that if you send me someone, I will split the cost of my first visit with you. So they get 50% of the first visit cost. They get a 5% kickback on lab testing and then a 10% payout on courses and programs. I love referrals because they come, they're warm leads. They know what you charge. They, um, you know, know the process. There's generally less pushback um, and they tend to be the best clients. And so uh, I've set up a, a great referral program. My clients love it. And I'm so thankful that they do send me people and I'm happy to give them affiliate payouts. So sending out some sort of referral or affiliate program um, from your clients, as well as you can take this out and do it to whether it's you want to do an affiliate program with a podcaster or an influencer or someone. These, you know, might feel like it's cutting into the bottom line, but I will say you start getting referrals, you will gladly, gladly pay affiliate payouts to, um, you know, make sure that you have these warm leads because a warm lead is always going to convert a heck of a lot better than a random person on Facebook that you, you know, ran an ad for. So figuring out some sort of referral program is extremely helpful in growing. And this is really what the core of my business has been. Social media, it seems so simple, but it is free marketing. It's free. You don't have to pay anything. So you want to find your niche and post. Post, 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 post. At least four times a week, you're posting in your story every day and you are beating what you do to oblivion. So if you're talking about the thyroid, everything is around that and you always can tie it back. You also want to take time and, you know, really go in and answer people's comments and answer people's questions and messages and you will build this sense of community. And when you have a strong sense of community, you have a strong brand it can bring brands to you and brands that you already use. And so you can start to get brand deals and endorsements. And I have no problem say, taking an endorsement from a company that I love. I won't endorse companies that I don't believe in their product. But if it's something that I love and I use, I will gladly take an endorsement or a brand deal with them. And this creates passive income. And so, you know, in scaling, you want to figure out how many ways is can I bring passive income into the practice where I'm not having to do anything? It's not my butt in a chair talking to a client. When you can get multiple streams of passive income, it really does allow us to um, you know, work less and still have money you know is coming in. And then having a huge social media, social media following builds credibility. It sounds silly and it sounds like it's not, you know, no way that's true, but it is. You want to do a podcast, they want to know how many followers you have. You want to do a summit, a lot of them want to know how many followers you have, how many people are on your newsletter. So it does build credibility and that you have an audience and you have a brand. So social media is probably one of the easiest things to do, yet a lot of people have such a... Um, you know, block to it and consistency is key. You can't post for a month, take six months off. Um, you really need to be consistent with it to build that community and that brand um, around who you are as a practitioner. And then collaborate. Find people who have larger social media followings, but are in similar niches and it can be broad, right? Someone, you know, talks about you know, they're, you're specializing in the thyroid and they maybe talk about environmental toxins or foods. And so use people with social media followings that are larger than yours and ask if you can do their Instagram lives with them. And a lot of times you can get, you know, multiple followers that way and ask to be on people's podcasts. When I started out, I always had the motto that the worst they could say to me is no. 
It's the worst that's going to happen is they say no. So ask to do with our podcast, come up with a list of 20 or 30 people you're going to email and ask, and you may get one or two and start, you know, then when your, your social media grows, reach back out and you might be able to get on to podcasts, but a lot of people won't even try it because they feel they're going to get shut down. But you have to remember people with podcasts need new people all the time. They're needing content. So you might be the perfect person for them. So ask to do lives and ask to be on podcasts. It can be a huge um, community builder and game changer in terms of social media following. And then testimonials. This is huge in the sense of um, your client's want to brag about their success. And so let them, if they've had a huge win, oh my gosh, I just got to go on vacation and I haven't been on vacation for 10 years because I felt so sick or whatever the win would be say, Hey, do you mind if I, you know, grab a quick video or would you mind sending me a quick testimonial about that? And all of the time, I'm always shocked that clients are so eager to, because this is a huge deal for them and they're happy to share this joy and their success. So, you know, as for testimonials, again, the worst they say is no. And sometimes they say, you know what, I don't want to do a video, but I'm glad to send a written. And you can still use that as on your website or as, you know, a post on social media. So ask for testimonials from every single one of your clients. So as you grow, you, um, you know, you can get into things that are a little, you know, can get more expensive. Um, but as you grow, things like paid ads, paid ads, a masterclass with a funnel is a great way to do it. You know, watch my, you know, 10 thyroid secret masterclass, and then you put them into some sort of funnel of, you know, visit to labs or whatever you decide it may be, but that is an option. Ads can be quite expensive. And so this is definitely on the lower side. I think there's things you can do that are free and faster. Um, another thing you can do is free downloads and this collects emails. And so you can make an ebook or a guide, download my toxin guide, my, you know, 15 secrets to better thyroid health or whatever your guide may be. And it can be something you just make on Canva. It doesn't need to be something that goes off to a graphic designer, but this allows you to collect emails. And so you can have this in a link in your social media. You can eventually run ads to it if you want. Um, but these emails allow you to build um, your weekly newsletter. And this weekly newsletter is something that keeps your audience engaged, keeps you on their mind. And then you can start to sell things in your newsletter. And this allows you to maybe someone's a, you know, doesn't want to buy when they first, you know, download your ebook, but after a year of reading your emails are like, you know what, I do want to buy this lab or whatever she's offering. So, you know, having a weekly newsletter, even if you don't aren't, you know, doing free downloads or paid ads is something to start right now um, and just being consistent. And again, consistency is key every single week, putting out a newsletter. Um, you can use AI to help you, um, you know, come up with topics and it doesn't have to be a super long newsletter, short, sweet, concise, maybe an article you saw, maybe something that, you know, piqued your interest, a post that you saw that you were like, eh, I don't know about that. Um, you can talk about all of that in your newsletter and allows your, your followers and um, your leads to stay engaged with you. And so again, you really want to maximize profits. And so these are things that you can do to bring in multiple streams of income. So passive income through supplements, you know, even if a client's not working with you in the capacity of a full detox, you want them still buying supplements through your full script account or whatever you use. Um, you want to, you know, really minimize your uh, systems costs. And a lot of times we have so many different programs, Practice Better and Kajabi and MailChimp and figure out how you can minimize that. So using like Kajabi or Kartra and they're going to do CRMs, they're your courses, your landing pages, all of that. Um, then you have affiliate deals. And so as you grow, people will reach out to you and they will want you to endorse or recommend their products. And again, I don't ever believe in doing, you know, endorsing a product I don't personally use or love, but, um, you know, you can get those brands that you love to start giving you endorsement deals. Then scaling programs, again, having a program option for every budget from a mini course being $97 to a DIY that's less than 200 a month 
to a hybrid that is 600 a month um, to then a very, you know, high ticket one-on-one, -on -one, um, which can range anywhere from a thousand to a few thousand a month, depending on what they need. Um, but having one for every single budget so that someone can't say, oh, you know, what? I can't afford that. Ultimately, we are all in this because we want to see people get better. And so you want to have something for every budget option that's still going to get them amazing results. So have different programs um, and different options for them. And then your membership. So you're never losing clients. You're getting, you know, passive income. It's, you know, small amounts. But as that membership community grows, it's passive income every month to you. And then your clients are, um, you know, staying on top of their labs or staying on top of wellness and never crashing again. So it really is a win-win for everyone. So thank you guys so much. Um, I hope you guys learned something. Scaling doesn't have to be overly complex or hard. It is something that can be, um, you know, done slowly and through very easy things such as referrals and, you know, social media, and then just really creating programs that get good results, but you have something for every budget. So I've enjoyed sharing with you guys. Thank you so much. And um, I hope you enjoyed. For any questions or issues you may have, contact Avexia Diagnostics by email at info at avexiadiagnostics.com or by phone five days a week at extended hours, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Time at 888-852-2723. Thank you, Dr. Thompson, for this informative presentation. Thank you again for joining us for this webinar event. Until next time, from everyone at Avexia Diagnostics, stay healthy, stay safe, and we wish you all the best on your pathway to wellness.